Hello, I'm your friend, Teacher Sam. Today, we're going to embark on a journey to improve your English listening skills using something you might not have considered before, news broadcasts. In the grand scheme of language acquisition, listening skills are vital. They help us understand context, pick up on subtle cues, and truly immerse ourselves in the language. But why news broadcasts, you might ask? Well, they're a treasure trove of rich, diverse vocabulary and real-world dialogues. Plus, they're readily accessible and cover a wide range of topics, making them a versatile tool for language learners. So, whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your skills, news broadcasts can be your ticket to better English listening skills. So, are you ready to dive into the world of news broadcasts and sharpen your English listening skills? Great, let's get started. First and foremost, understanding the format of news broadcasts is crucial. Now let's delve into the structure of a typical news broadcast. It generally begins with the presentation of the main news items, followed by detailed reports. These reports often include interviews with people related to the news event, providing a first-hand perspective. Next, we encounter a segment that's a favorite for many, the weather forecast. This not only gives you a heads up about whether to carry an umbrella or wear a jacket, but it also helps you learn a lot about descriptive language and numbers. Becoming familiar with this format is like getting a roadmap to the broadcast. You can predict what is coming next and prepare yourself to understand the content. This way, even if you don't comprehend every single word, you still grasp the overall context. Knowing what to expect from a news broadcast can significantly improve your comprehension. Isn't that interesting? Now that you're familiar with the news format, let's move on to active listening. This is a core skill that will not only help in understanding news broadcasts, but also improve your overall English proficiency. Active listening is more than just hearing the words that are spoken. It's about being fully engaged in what's being said, processing the information, understanding the context, and responding appropriately. It's about truly focusing on the speaker and not just passively taking in the words. When you're listening to a news broadcast, try to understand the main idea of the story. What's the topic? What are the key points being discussed? This will help you to anticipate the kind of vocabulary and phrases that might be used, making it easier for you to understand the content. Make a note of any unfamiliar words or phrases. Don't worry if you don't understand everything at first. It's perfectly normal. The key is to remain patient and persistent. Later, you can look up these words or phrases, learn their meanings, and understand how they're used in context. This will significantly expand your vocabulary over time. I recommend starting with shorter news clips. This will make the task less daunting and more manageable. Gradually, as your listening skills improve, you can move on to longer broadcasts. Keep in mind, active listening requires practice. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. And don't be too hard on yourself. Remember, learning a language is a journey, not a race. Let's take a brief moment to recap. Active listening involves focusing on the speaker, understanding the context, and noting down unfamiliar words or phrases. It's about engagement, comprehension, and response. And remember, active listening is not just about hearing, it's about understanding. Practice it regularly, and you'll see the difference. So, the next time you tune into a news broadcast, listen actively. Engage with the content, understand the context, and learn new words. You'll be amazed at how much your English listening skills improve. Ever wondered how transcripts and subtitles can aid your learning process? Let's find out. Transcripts and subtitles are like secret weapons in your language learning arsenal. They serve as a visual support system, helping you understand the spoken words better. Imagine you're watching a news broadcast. The anchor is speaking rapidly, and you're struggling to catch every word. Now turn on the subtitles. Suddenly it all makes sense. This is because you're not just relying on your ears to understand, but also your eyes. Transcripts work similarly. They're the written record of the audio or video you're consuming. By reading along as you listen, you're reinforcing the association between the sound of the word and its written form. This is especially helpful when you encounter new words or phrases. You can pause, look them up, and deepen your understanding. Now here's a pro tip. Start by using transcripts and subtitles as a crutch, but don't become too dependent on them. As your listening skills improve, slowly wean yourself off. Try watching a segment of the news without them. You'll be amazed at how much you can understand. Remember, the goal is to be able to follow along with a native speaker at natural speed. And while transcripts and subtitles can help you get there, in the end, it's your ear that needs to do the heavy lifting. Transcripts and subtitles are your friends. Use them wisely to boost your listening skills. Last but not least, regular practice is the key. 
This is a truth universally acknowledged in all learning processes, and improving your English listening skills is no different. Now let's think of it like this. If you're training to run a marathon, you wouldn't just run once a week, right? No, you'd lace up those running shoes and hit the pavement every single day. That's because our brains, much like our muscles, need consistent practice to grow stronger. So, how do we apply this to improving our English listening skills through news broadcasts? Well, Teacher Sam suggests setting aside a specific time each day dedicated solely to this task. Perhaps it's during your morning coffee, or maybe it's in the evening after dinner. Whenever it is, make sure it's a time when you can focus without distractions. Now, you don't need to start by listening to hour-long broadcasts. Begin with five or ten minute segments. As your listening skills improve, gradually increase the duration of the news broadcasts you're tuning into. This isn't a race, but a journey of improvement. So go at your own pace. Here's a little secret. Consistency trumps intensity. It's better to practice a little every day than to cram a lot in one day and then take a long break. This way, your brain has time to absorb and process the new information. Regular practice can do wonders. So make it a part of your daily routine and watch your English listening skills soar. All right, that brings us to the end of this session. We've explored understanding the news format and the importance of active listening. We've discussed the usefulness of transcripts and subtitles and the necessity of regular practice. These are your tools to improve English listening skills through news broadcasts. It's an exciting journey, and with dedication, you'll soon be understanding English like a pro. Remember, the world is your classroom. Happy learning.